What's up nation? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lynx and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a distorted sound effect to your voice in Sony Vegas to make your voice sound something a little better than just the normal voice to sounding a little bit something like I'm going, going to take your soul and eat it in front of your family. Stay tuned. We're jumping right on in. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a distorted monster evil villain kind of voice. Kind of like what I use when I do my Cyber Chase videos for Shadow Links. It's really simple and I'm going to show you how to do it in Sony Vegas. That's my go-to. You can also do it in Audacity as well, but uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it in Sony Vegas. Today we're going to be using Sony Vegas Pro uh, 15. And basically what you want to do is it's it's all pitch filtered. That's all it is. It's a pitch shift. So the first thing you want to do is have a normal audio uh, spot, which you can have right here. We're going to do, we're going to call this a normal audio. Okay. Then we're going to right click and we're going to do insert audio track or control Q. And we're going to call this one, let's do pitch one. Then we will do another audio track and we will call this one pitch two. All right. Now, all you have to do now is drag in your audio, which I have one already pre recorded, which basically it's right here. I'm going to drag it onto the normal audio slot here on the timeline. Now, when you listen to it, you cannot even begin to understand the situation that you are in. Defeat is your only option. Give in now or taste the sweetness of death. Okay, so as you can tell, it's just normal audio, nothing fancy to it yet. Just sounds like a regular audio recording. Nothing, nothing spooky, nothing crazy, nothing cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the audio track and we're going to hold down control and then we're going to drag the audio down and we're going to do that twice. So that way we have a duplicated audio of the original on both of your other timelines. Now, when you play, it's just going to be normal. It's going to have like a little echo. You cannot even begin to understand. Nothing, nothing's been changed yet. So you have two options here. If you'd like to do just the one audio uh, pitch shift, you can always right click, go to audio event effects, and then you can go to your pitch shift and you want to add, press OK. And then all you have to do is change your settings here to the pitch shifts that you want to do. If you're wanting to do it on just that one audio clip. Now you want to do it on your second audio and your third audio. What I like to do is uh, go to the left side over here. When you click more, you're going to go to track FX. And then of course you can press the add plugin here in your plugin chain. And then of course you can go down to your pitch shift and then of course add again. Now what I like to do is keep it on the actual audio track. That way when I drag my audio down uh, on multiple clips, it's automatically going to add all the effects on that entire timeline to all the audio that is brought down to that timeline. Now I have a uh, preset for what I use for my shadow pitch shift. So I have shadow one here, which you can see my semitones is at a three. My sense to shift pitch is a zero, and uh, that's pretty much all I did for that one. So we're going to close out of this one, and as you, and then we'll we'll test it and see how it sounds with just that one audio changed. You cannot even begin to understand the situation that you are in. Now, as you can see, it's already starting to sound a lot different. Okay, so we're going to go down to our pitch two. We're going to go to track effects. We're going to plug add a plug-in chain we're gonna go to pitch shift we're gonna press add press ok and then we're gonna go to the other one which is gonna be shadow 2 which really the only difference is is that it's an opposite pitch so you have your second layer is uh, 3 for your semitones this one's going to be negative 3 for your semitones and your sense to shift is gonna be still at a zero so once you've added that in you can close out of your FX and we can test it again 
You cannot even begin to understand the situation that you are in. Defeat is your only option. Give in now or taste the sweetness of death. All right, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you can add, of course, your favorite video to that, which I have one here that's uh, been used before. Uh, so I'm going to take the audio away from this one right here. And we're just going to drag this video clip over here, and we'll just uh, put it on there and see how it looks together. Just like this. You cannot even begin to understand the situation that you are in. Defeat is your only option. Give in now or taste the sweetness of death. So that's it, guys. Uh, it's a super quick, easy tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something today. It's, it's super easy, and this is what I use for my voice uh, changes for Shadow Links. And, of course, you can tweak it any way you'd like to make it sound the way you want to for the project you're working on. Uh, of course, there's other tutorials that I can do in the future for teaching you how to do robotic voices and AI voices. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video and you learned something today, hit that like button, guys. And uh, of course, as always, my name is Lynx, and I will see you in the next video.